Okay, we're here at Boca Pal Boxing with the great Vitor Belfort. He is going to be fighting Oscar De La Hoya, Triller Legends Fight Club, coming up on September 11th. Vitor, thanks for the time, man. Really appreciate it. Thank you. It's a pleasure. It's an honor to have you guys here. It's a, hey, it's an honor to be here with you, man. You're South Florida Zone. You've been down here forever. Um, so everybody down here locally is going to be uh, looking forward to supporting your fight. I was talking to your trainer, uh, Derek, and I remember when the fight was announced uh, on the, Mar the Marlins Park card, you were going to be fighting an Instagram or kind of get back into the, the box thing, and then all of a sudden that falls through. And you're fighting Oscar De La Hoya, man. What was that process like where you're like, oh, if we're going to do this, we're going to do this. We're fighting Oscar. Yeah, we're supposed to fight Audi Field, and then they give me the YouTuber, and then went back to Oscar. So, you know me, I, I want to fight the greatest guys ever. You know, I want to do a little generation fight. I think it's a legendary fight. This is a fight that I've been looking, being vocal about it. I think I was the guy who called that legend. This is what it is, and Triller is literally putting this together. And I'm so thankful for what Ryan and his team are putting together because it's an event that literally we're going to be able to put generation at the same place in the same house you know literally crossing over from both sports and hopefully soon we'll really be able to do the crossover where bma will be able to be the, the, the combat the hand combat that see who has the best hands uh what, what is it is it a different revitalization for yourself doing something new doing boxing is that is that something like do you find yourself more excited to go to training or anything like that because you've done it all in mixed martial arts this is such a cool thing to to, to go into with a new sport yeah i i i i am very vocal about it and become a master in, in reinventing myself i think reinventing yourself is to be able to understand that what used to work before doesn't work anymore so I think people get stuck in how they used to be and they want to be the same. You can never go back and try to be the same people. An age change, wisdom comes, you got to find ways to do it. So it's many ways to skin a cat. So as you mature and you evolve in life, it's you have to reinvent yourself. And that's what I love to do in my life. And I'll be able to literally doing that right now and be part of that great combat sport that's about to come in and Triller is presenting this legendary combat and I'm part of it. I wanted to get back into the fighting in just a second, but I had a couple of questions. Uh, because you're here locally, you've been down here in South Florida for a long time. I see you all the time, man. You're on social media at the Dolphins games. See you having back and forth with Tua Tunga Vailoa. Like, are you a Monster Dolphins fan? Like, have you do you have that kind of support like for, yeah. for that team? And, yeah. and, and your interactions with Tua, that's so cool that he has uh, that yeah. you guys have a love for each other like that. We have respect. I think athletes respect each other, and um, I live here. Uh, I have friends that play for the for the for the Miami Dolphins. It's a team that I really have respect for it, and I think they're going to have a great year. They have a great team, and I'm looking forward to see the success of Miami uh, Dolphins. Also, I, I look for success of Miami University as well. So I have a son. He's an amazing quarterback. He's really good. Yeah. <laughs> so it's so good to see South Florida. You know. Literally, you know, in every sport, in volleyball, and I'm a big support because the sport literally helped to build, build character of, of humans. So I'm a big supporter of it. Can I ask you, when did you know your son was going to be that kind of good at football? The University of Miami is like, that's college football royalty, Vitor. So the idea that your son is recruited by them, when did you see him and you're like, oh, man, this guy is something special? Yes. So since they're a kid, since my kids are young, I, I always say, feed their dream, not my dream. I always feed their dream. And he got an offer from Alabama, Coach Saban. He has tons of offers. But like I said, son, yesterday is gone. Tomorrow is a promissory note. Today is cash on hand. Be focused on the process. The process is to use what sport gave you. It's a great education. You know, be able to create a brotherhood in football. And football for me is the greatest sport of all time. It's where literally, depending on totally, you know, you have defense and offense. Every player matter. So the quarterback... He's just the server. I say, you're just the driver. So he needs the car. So he loves. He loves what he does. He has a huge IQ and huge leadership. And I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward for his progress. So coming up September 11th, you guys can get uh, Triller Legends Fight Club coming up. Vito Belfort against Oscar De La Hoya. Listen, you, you're, you have you're keeping your fight career going as long as so What kind of Oscar do you expect to see? He's getting back into this. You talked about reinvention. Are you expecting a guy that is going to be top notch like what do you what do you think how do you prepare for a guy who hasn't I'm, been in the ring I'm that prepared long for the, you haven't been that inactive I'm preparing for the best Oscar I, I'm literally it's going to be I think Oscar he's going to bring it he, he's Oscar Oscar's always been Oscar so I'm, I'm expecting the best Oscar well everybody out here in South Florida go support one of our own Vito Belfort's family been down here for a long time this is a really really cool fight man congratulations on the thank you very like much and, uh, God bless you don't miss event. out 9-11